you know, a lot of questions today we get that, you know, what's an outsert? An outsert that goes over the shaft well, here's a couple things. Number one, when you're shooting a smaller diameter arrow, which we've got here, we've got a four millimeter axis from Easton. This outsert captivates the front of the shaft, not by much, but what it does then, it allows you to screw on a broadhead and it covers the entire back end of the surface of the broadhead because the ferrule is larger in diameter than the exterior of the shaft. So the outside diameter of the shaft is smaller than the ferrule itself. Now, what does that do? What does a small shaft do? Well, first off, less wind drag. Anytime you, you eliminate surface area, especially in flying, you will have a little bit more stability. And the stability comes from your fletchings in the back end too. The other thing too is when you have anything, any surface that's bigger then what's pushing it? You have a stress point. That stress point lies right there. So eliminating that stress point, captivating all that energy into the projectile, the arrow itself. This right here, not only supports, gives more strength, but let's just say, you know, on your shot, you just hit some bone. Well, a lot of different manufacturers, if it's just here on the shaft, the broadhead goes right here, you have, an, you have an opportunity of that arrow breaking right in here. With that outsert, it's gone. You eliminate that. So you actually gave it more strength on the front end of your shaft. Now, having that small, narrow shaft, pushing a head that is literally way bigger than what's the force behind it. So this is the cutting surface. There is hardly any friction whatsoever on that small diameter and it continues pushing through. The only time you may run into an issue is if you're trying to shoot too light of an arrow. Again, you know there's pros and cons on everything and, and there's tests and everything and you could do mathematical equations. I'm here to tell you years and years ago I was on a hunt and the, the individual had it all calculated out. Calculated. On paper, that calculation on paper did not result in the best performance on the actual game itself. Don't be fooled, there's fake news everywhere, but the reality of it is, is truly the best way, the best way to understand that is your own personal performance, seeing what works and what doesn't, and marking it down. I keep charts and I keep notes from everything I've done all through the years, Vicky and I, and now the kids, you know, and. and Going to a smaller diameter shaft with an outsert, definitely a big plus.